Turning now to local news, the search continues for a Jacksonville woman with early signs of dementia. Police are trying to find 76-year-old Maria Masso. They say she has not been seen since Tuesday and was last known to be at her home on the west side. News for Jacks reporter Corley Peel spoke with a woman who says she saw Masso the day she disappeared. Did you know she was missing at the time you saw her? No, I did not. It wasn't until the next day that I learned. Corley's joining us now from the command center off Crystal Springs Road. Corley, police are asking the community to get involved. Tom, they are, and we are across the street from that command center. You can see that dozens of first responders are set up here at this church. You can see that there are a few fire trucks. There's also several officers, and there's a lot of people out in this area looking for Maria Masso. And JSO has also asked people who live in this area to check surveillance video for any clues as to where she may be. 76 year old Maria Masso hasn't been seen since Tuesday. Police say this surveillance video shows her around 1 p.m. wearing a yellow shirt, walking near Crystal Springs and Chafee Road. Amber Bird says that's around the same time she spotted Masso near the Winn Dixie. And I saw her walking down the sidewalk on Crystal Springs going towards Winn Dixie. I noticed she had a suitcase with her and she happened to leave a suitcase and walked down the street. Did she look like she was in danger at all? No, she didn't. She looked like she was just taking a walk, that she was just out enjoying the day. Investigators say Masso left her home off Radnor Lane between 6 a.m. and 2.45 p.m. They say she is 5'3 and weighs around 150 pounds. Masso has early signs of dementia, according to police. Investigators are asking for those who live near Chafee Road, Crystal Springs Road, and Pritchard Road to check their surveillance cameras specifically during 12.30 p.m. and 5 p.m. on August 24th. I can't imagine what she's going through, what her family's going through. If it was my parents, I would be out of my mind. Bird says the suitcase she saw Masso leave behind is no longer near the Winn-Dixie. She's hoping she is found safe soon. And here's another live look at the command center that is set up here on Crystal Springs Road. You can see that there are dozens of first responders who are working to try and find Maria Masso. Amber Bird tells me that she did notify police about when she saw Maria. Also, JSO says it's not they're not sure when they will take down this command center. They're going to continue searching for her as long as needed. And if anybody sees her or knows where she is, you are urged to call police immediately. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.